Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about loop conversion. You will be given a program in the question paper. Uh, you can see a loop snippet where you have to rewrite the current loop to another loop. For example, if a for loop is given, they will ask you to convert it to do while. Or if a while loop is given, they will ask you to convert it to for loop. And uh, if, the, if there is a do while loop, they will ask you to rewrite to for loop. So we are going to see uh, three examples. So first example, you are going to see a for loop snippet is given. You are going to convert it to a do while loop. Okay. So basically, you should remember three things. One is you should have an initialization statement. Then you will have a test condition. And then you will have an updation statement. So you have to identify what are these. So here you can see a declaration statement. You got uh, namely two variables x and c, and you can see it has been initialized here in uh, for loop. Okay, so this should be an initialization statement. So you can see that. Okay, so x equal to 10 and c equal to 20 is the initialization uh, statements. Okay, and then you can see test condition. Okay, that is the second point you have to note where it is test condition is here. You can see c greater than or equal to 0, uh, greater than or equal to 10 this is a test condition and then finally updation statement this is the next statement that is c equal to c minus 2. So normally in for loop all these three are given in the same line right everything has been given in the same line if it is a for loop. So when you convert it to a do while loop you have to move these okay always remember the first statement that is initialization statement will be executed only once that means it has to be written above the loop and then you will have a test condition and then the updation statement will be executed every time every iteration it will be updated okay now you are going to see how to convert it to a do while loop the same program <coughs> since it has been said uh, initialization statement is been uh, it will be executed only once so you have to write it above that is you can see x equal to 10 and c equal to 10, 20 which has been written above the loop then you have a body of the loop so you can see do and then open curly braces and the statements inside close curly braces and while now you are in this type of question you no need to worry about what the output will be how many times the loop is executed you have to concentrate only in these three initialization test condition and updation statements now uh, already done with the initialization statement which has been uh, written above the loop so when you do it in do while or while loop it should be above the loop and then you just copy down the body of the loop right you have to write do and open curly braces and write the body of the loop which is given here all right same like that and then you should write a test condition so test condition will come here okay under the while loop while c lesser uh, greater than or equal to 10 and then close parenthesis and semicolon so here you can see the test condition is moved down since it is a do while loop okay so since it is an exit control loop it will be written at the last then where is the updation statement it's here inside the body it should be the last line okay in a loop right uh, if it is a body of the loop uh, your updation statement can be the last statement okay c equal to c minus 2 is been written so this is how you are going to rewrite a for loop into a do while loop now you are going to see how to rewrite using for loop so here you can see a do while loop is given you are going to convert it to a for loop so since you understood the first example it is similar right you have to notify the three things one is initialization statement which is given above the loop you can see two variables i equal to 1 d equal to 5 okay two variables are here and it has been initialized with values now you can see do and then open curly braces and uh, close curly braces you got the body of the loop and the while condition here next you have to identify the uh, test condition here you can see while i less than or equal to 5 this is a test condition okay and then you have to see the updation statement see here you can see i is used to check the condition so obviously you have to go for uh, i plus plus because the reason is you got two variables previous example also you had two variables d equal to 5 it has been updated here but you are not going to see about the updation of d you are going to check only the updation of i because you are going to check the condition of i i less than or equal to 5 so when to when it reaches 5 it will stop so here this is the updation statement should be written in the for loop so you are going to see how to write the for loop here 
now the declaration statement and then combine all these into a single line i equal to 1 d equal to 5 should be written as the first statement so i equal to 1 comma d equal to 5 then semicolon then the test condition i less than or equal to 5 should be written here okay so i less than or equal to 5 and then the updation statement i equal i plus plus should be written at the last so semi after semicolon put i plus plus so this is how you're going to convert and then write the uh, body of the loop as it is right you got two lines other than this i plus plus you have to write as it is okay next is you're going to write again uh, re rewrite using for loop we are in this this time you're going to convert while loop to for loop so here you can see initialization statement m equal to 5 n equal to 10 then you got while statement then you got test condition n greater than or equal to 1 then you got the body of the loop and then you can see the updation statement here you see, uh, still you have two variables but you are going to check only the n value because the test condition is n greater than or equal to 1 and n minus minus will be the updation statement so you no need to worry about uh, m so how to rewrite just write as it is just write declaration statement m and n and then the uh, in, uh, that is initialization, initialization statement has to be written first m equal to 5 comma n equal to 10 then semicolon test condition n greater than or equal to 1 and then finally updation statement n minus minus so this is how uh, then they write the body of the loop here you got only one statement right because n minus minus came here as updation statement so here you got the uh, single line as a body of the loop you are going to write it as it is okay so this is how you're going to convert that is rewrite a while loop to for loop okay hope you understood this video uh, we'll meet you in the next video till then thank you